Good afternoon. My name is Alexander Hagen. I'm the CEO of a tech company in Silicon Valley. Previously, I was a financial analyst and a financial journalist and a research engineer in telecommunications. Tonight, I want to clarify what's in the Build Back Better Act. So uh, I am primarily a person who's concerned about uh, the rapid demise of life on Earth. Uh, so uh, our concern, those of us in, who are following how serious matters are with floods and fires and species extinction and uh, melting ice caps and all that horrible stuff, um, have determined that it will cost around five trillion bucks to basically buy enough solar panels to convert the whole U.S. to be purely electric, obviously, and grossly oversimplifying. Um, and what we get out of this bill, which is a total of, of, of according to this, four trillion, which I, I'm trying to understand why it's four and not four and a half with the Build Back Better and the Infrastructure Act, but let's take it a step at a time. Um, we have the items in the bill. We can total four trillion here. So of that, the part that goes to climate is 15 percent. 707 billion is the way I count. So here in the first part of the act, which is a trillion dollar, uh, 548 billion actually, um, that's how it ends up being perhaps four and a half, because we've got. Um, a half a trillion is probably in both bills. It's 559 trillion for tax cuts, but I get ahead of myself right now. That's why it's confusing. So 14.15% of these uh, spending outlined here is climate related. We've got public transit, 39 billion. Remember, this is over 10 years, so 3.9 billion a year, or about, uh, what would that work out to? Uh, $10 a person a year. Um, now, the, the revenue is going to come from the wealthy. The, the wealthy have been grotesquely undertaxed recently. Um, and so there's a huge amount of revenue that can be easily raised um, by just bringing our taxes more in line with international standards. Um, and that's really what we've got to focus on. And the selling argument to conservatives, we've got to be competitive uh, uh, in the global uh, race, so to speak. Um, uh, we should copy from those who are doing the best, like, for example, Finland has this wonderful uh, educational system, and so does Singapore, Hong Kong. So steal shamelessly from those who are doing, uh, uh, you know, moving the needle on things. But anyway, we've got $39 billion over 10 years for public transit, uh, $66 billion for rail. That's about $20 a year per person for rail. Electric vehicle infrastructure, uh, which is presumably basically charging stations, 15 billion, a billion and a half a year, which is about $5 a person. Um, then we get into things that are not necessarily green over here, which I call oil infrastructure. They could be green, but basically they're probably not going to be unless you first put in a bunch of solar panels and then build all this stuff. When you build all this stuff and then put in the solar panels, you're going to be emitting uh, fossil fuels. So we've got roads, bridges, major projects, 110 billion. So that would be about uh, 11 billion a year. Uh, so that's about 35 bucks a person a year for roads, bridges, and major projects. And again, I'm suspicious of how much of this is uh, really going to move us into the next uh, phase of our economy and civilization, which should be one based on sustainability. That, that, in other words, your grandchildren can continue to have as much access to resources as you have, whether those resources are snowy mountains or, uh, you know, being able to snorkel and see fish uh, or, um, uh, you know, actual resources such as housing and employment and so forth. So sustainability means that we're not eating our seed corn in the way we run our civilization. So then we've got 25 billion for airports, 17 billion for ports and waterways. I haven't allocated water infrastructure yet. That's why it's bold. I haven't in, uh, 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 tagged safety yet uh, and resilience. So also resilience is a bit of a, a bugaboo for me because it's basically get ready to be uh, flooded and heated money. 
instead of money to cut down the sources that are going to create the hub. So it's reactive rather than proactive. So in this first block, which is related to the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, which the Republicans say they are ready to pass, this particular breakdown which has 548 billion of it accounted for. Then we go on to the budget reconciliation bill. Um, and so here uh, we get into a whole lot of different things, don't we? Um, it would be nice to have the percentages of everything. So let me move this uh, percentage column up and I'll just nuke the 14% requirement for the moment. Um, well, no, I'm going to put one below. Okay. This is one above. This is one above. Okay, so now we can see, uh, so there, this is clearly wrong. E4 over B59. This is a percentile, is not working. There we go. Well, that's, it makes me a little bit happier. So the, the fossil fuel part is uh, one quarter of the green part, which sort of in a way cancels out a quarter of the green part. Um, so that's too bad. So then we get into the social program. So we have 172 billion, 17 billion a year for universal pre-K, 17 billion divided by our population is about 50 bucks a year per person. Uh, child care, um, you know, similar 21 billion a year. So, you know, maybe something like uh, 70 bucks per person a year. Um, then, uh, is, is that right? No, wait a minute. It would be um, 21 billion. Yeah, about 70 bucks per person. I don't know what I said, but it's about 70. Then clean energy tax incentives. That's a big part of the climate. It's almost half of the climate provisions. It's just clean energy tax incentives. Um, then we get to um, electric vehicle rebates, 8.6 billion a year. That works out to about uh, $25 a year per person. Uh, clean energy accelerator, um, 23 billion, so about nine bucks a year per person. Uh, actually, that's only 2.3 billion a year, so it'd be less, it'd be about six bucks per person, sorry. Uh, Civilian uh, Conservation Corps, 860 million a year effectively, federal procurement of clean tech, um, 3.96 billion a year. Um, so that's about, uh, you know, $15, $12 per person a year. Weatherization, one and a half billion, so $5 per person per year. And then place-based clean energy solution, uh, economic development environment, uh, 12 billion, 1.2 billion a year, about $4 per person. Then we get to uh, education, post-secondary. Um, so that's uh, that should be looking like this. There we go. Um, so that is a considerable amount. Adult education is almost forty percent of the entire climate spend. Um, healthcare, ACA uh, long-term care, it's probably mainly senior care. ACA premiums, dental, vision, and hearing. That is altogether about sixty billion a year. So that's about $200 a person, I believe. Um, so um, yeah, so healthcare ends up being the same amount as climate. Then we've got uh, public housing. I haven't tagged that yet. That's actually, you know, that's obviously, uh, um, you know, part of, um, I would almost put it into low income tax breaks in a way, but it's, essentially redistribution to the, um, the the poorest in society from the richest. So we've got to tag that, I guess for the moment, I'll just put that here. So I have that tag. Lawful permanent residences for immigrants. Um, so that is, uh, seems to be another housing related matter. Community college infrastructure, 
Um, you know, uh, that is uh, probably money to build and expand facilities, which here in California has always been somewhat annoying to me. Critical supply chain resilience, that's a business feature. So let's, uh, we have to read in to find out exactly what's in that. I haven't tagged extension partnerships yet. Uh, you know, we are way behind the other countries on science and research, but I'm not sure that NIST is the way to go. I'm not saying it isn't either. The National Institute for Science and Technology um, very well could be. Uh, then we've got an SBA funds. What are these two? Community revitalization. So we'll put that in other as well. And um, let's do it. Auto supply chain. That's clearly a business related matter. You could even, um, that could be environmental depending on what, how it's uh, constructed, though, because if it's to get us off of, um, you know, uh, gas vehicles and onto electric vehicles or whatnot. Uh, that would be helpful. A workforce, here's another one we need to chase down. We can certainly see why it's considered, you know, majority is social spending. Now, paid leave, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got that already. Yes, indeed. Child nutrition and paid leave, I've got those both under child care. Um, and then we've got um, tax uh, deductions for low income people, the earned income tax credit, the child tax credit. And the CDCTC, which is some other form of uh, tax credit. Um, so, you know, 559 billion, 55 billion a year, that's about um, three, it's about $170 per person a year cost for that. So then we go on to do is we look at the revenue side, so these expenditures. So we will halt for right now. And this gives us some idea of what's in this. Uh, Build Back Better Act and the Infrastructure. So I'll post part two shortly, and I'll also point the link to this as I uh, get more information for you folks. Thank you.